So one of my favorite shows is back, Real Housewives of Atlanta, and I want to focus on the dynamics of mental health in regards to Kenya Moore and Miss Marlo Hampton, okay? Because these women have a lot going on psychologically that prevents them from being friends, okay? So sit back. If you're ready for a deep dive on these two women, I got gotcha. you. So let's talk about Kenya Moore and Marlo Hampton, okay? Now, if you haven't already, I'm a therapist, like, subscribe, let's get into it. So these two women have a very robust history on this show, okay? Twirl, twirl, twirl. Now, Marlo, are we gonna call her Convict Marlo or can we just refer to her as Marlo? Let me know in the comments how y'all wanna refer to her. But basically, she's been there for a very long time. Y'all know the history. So let's get into it, all right? If you don't know the history, what have you been watching? Okay, where you been at? Because these peach holders have been here for a very long time. So the reason that Marlo and Kenya cannot be friends is due to trauma. Okay, it's all about the trauma, baby. They both come from dynamics of mothers who did not want them. Some of that abandonment stuff, some of that anxious attachment style, some of that dismissive attachment is coming up into play where it really prevents them from really connecting and being friends. The trauma is at the forefront of this relationship. And so I want to focus right now on the relationship that Kenya Moore did not have with her mother. We've seen it throughout the show. We even see her try and go to her mother's house in past seasons and her mother did not open up the door. That had to hurt because that was like a lot of vulnerability to show on national TV of, of having your mother, in a sense, reject you. And so we see her relationship with her father. We don't see a lot of her family because I think the way um, her birth story happened, from what I can perceive, was that her mother did not um, was not in the best place mentally. Her relationship with the her father was not in the best place. So that really has um led her to not have really good relations i think with women in general to be honest um we see her the up and downs of her friendship with nini the up and downs of her friendship with candy um this never ending divorce golly like how long has she been trying to divorce this man and side note do y'all really believe that she even married i don't even know no more because this man does not seem like he wants to divorce this woman or he wants some of her fame um mary and mark was a poor choice it was a bad idea it was that attachment style showing up of wanting a family once again probably the romanticized idea like i just want a family i want to be married i want to have a child and she got brooklyn but what came with brooklyn was married to this man who he has some narcissistic traits as we saw okay so you have kenya who on the outside, I think she comes off as a very strong, resilient woman, which she is, but I think that there are some issues there underneath the surface that she has not dealt with um, regarding her trauma with her relationship with her mother, um, probably her relationship with her father, and grieving what she has missed in that relationship with probably both her parents. She has a good foundation with her father, but I still don't think it's as strong as it could be. So that comes into play with her trying to develop friendships with people in general. When you've been hurt by people who say that they love you, you've been rejected, it's going to help. You're going to have a wall up because you don't want to go through that again. And so I think she has a wall up. I think she will, she tends to let it down. And at times her and Marlo have been on good terms, but Marlo, I think at times can take advantage. I think her thirst, yes, her thirst for wanting to be accepted really gets in the way of her developing genuine friendships with people. And so now you have Marlo who has wanted to be on this show for a very long time. She's always been a friend of the show. They finally gave her a chance and she just ran with it. I think she kind of jumped off the cliff with trying to have these moments, these reads coming for candy. And I think it was all because she wants to feel a part of the group. She wants these women to accept her. And she comes from a lot of abandonment, a lot of rejection, a lot of foster care. Um, 
And so because of that, she has not had solid foundation relationships with primary caregivers. She moved a lot from home to home, placement to placement. I believe she even said like once she got to a solid pl placement, she really thought she was going to be, this was going to be it. I wasn't going to have to keep moving anymore. But then um, she came home, I believe, from school and that family actually said that they were giving her up. So imagine being a foster child, um, having to move home from home from home, also not dealing probably the most with your issues because being in foster care, I have worked um, with foster care youth. I used to work at a group home. I work with DCFS, probation. Um, and a lot of these kids, the system does not treat their mental health as well as they should because uh, that can be a whole nother segment. But I don't think her mental health was at the forefront of all these different placements. It was primarily probably just filed, um, finding her replacement calling up you know foster parents resource parents nowadays is what they call them um to place her so she kept moving it didn't give her the opportunity to really build solid friendships um a primary foundation with the caregivers a sense of self so i think at times being a foster child you are often used to molding yourself to the environment the people the needs of that household so you can stay or so you can fit in so Marlo really wants to fit in with these women, but she does it in ways that is too much. Coming for candy, having these, um, these fights with people. And so she wants it so bad that she is, I think, in her own way. She tries so hard that it pushes people away because she tries sometimes from a malicious state or from a state of like, I got to get my peach and I want to hold it. Okay. And so because of that, it's off-putting and you can't trust her. You can't trust is she really going to be genuine or is she going to be in the blogs, doing interviews, talking about things, um, always coming for candy. Now I'm a candy girl. Okay. So let me know in the comments, who do you relate to the most on the show? Um, also who do y'all think should not have returned? Let me know in the comments. But these two women cannot be friends because they both have the foundation of these abandonment issues with both their parents, primary caregivers. And so because I think Kenya is more secure in her place on the show, more secure in her place as a woman, a mother, I think Marlo at times can be envious and want some of that. You no. Know, so she does extra stuff to try and... I think at times self-sabotage, she's a big, big self-sabotager and because um, these are two hurt women, they can't see past some of the work they need to do on themselves. Do I think that they could be friends at this point? I don't really think so. <clears throat> I think there has been too much history, too much hurt and I think Marlo has ulterior motives. And so at times she gets outcasted from the group because of these ulterior motives. And you just never know what you're going to get from her. Is she going to be, um, you know, nice Marlo being a part of the group, really trying to make things work? Or does she have something on the back of her head of like, okay, let me, what can I get out of this for myself? And I think that you see the same thing with the dynamics between her her sons, which is not her sons, her nephews, which is very interesting because you would think that because she herself has come from foster care, she would talk to them better and treat them better. But for me personally, at times it feels like it's another scene for her. Like, are you genuinely interested in the well-being of these boys? Last season, she kicked them out. Now, you know how it feels to be kicked out. You know how it feels to not be wanted. So why would you do that to your own nephews who are going through a similar situation with their own mother? So I think both these women, I think Kenya has grown and elevated a lot more. Marla wants some of that. She sees it. She's like, why won't you just be friends with me? And Kenya's like, girl, you got stuff to work on that you're not even trying to work on. Okay, I'm not going to bring that energy into my my circle, my household right now. 
they're both employees of Bravo. They come and do their scenes together, but outside of that, I don't think that they could ever be friends because the psychological things. Kenya is more secure, but I do feel like she has some dismissive avoidant. I also think she has some anxious at times. I think that Marlo to me has more of a disorganized attachment style, very critical. Um, I think she can be avoidant also. So we gonna see what this season is gonna bring. Do I think it's gonna bring friendship? No, I do not. But let, you, let me know, do y'all think these women can ever be friends? Okay. What do y'all think of their friendship or lack thereof? Let me know in the comments. If you gotten this far, make sure you like, subscribe, and thank you for viewing my video. And I will see you next time.